Hi, my name is Paul Friedman. I founded the Marriage Foundation. And today's topic is my husband is rude and disrespectful to me. And I'm going to turn this around for you. I'm, I'm not going to let you get away with this. I'm not going to do a, oh, your husband is so bad, but here's how you can manipulate him. Here's how you could get through to him. Here's how you could get him to listen to you. No, we're not going to do that. I'm going to hit you with a bottom line premise first. Didn't you get married to be happy? Of course you did. When did the fighting begin? Now, for most people, it started when you were selecting tuxes for the wedding, to be honest with you. Now, maybe not in your case. Maybe you had a pretty good marriage. Or maybe you had a pretty good marriage by not really engaging that much. Because I'll tell you right now, if your husband is rude to you now, it didn't just start. This is something that has built up. This disrespectfulness is something that has built up. And I'm not saying you should take the blame for it. Don't get me wrong. He should not be that way. And if he were talking with me and I were talking with him, I would tell him, you don't act that way. You don't do that to anyone, much less your own wife. And I'm going to tell you, much less your own husband. Look, I used to be a divorce mediator. I've seen it all. I know what's going on. But then I had one couple and it changed everything. And I started healing marriages. But I had to create a whole new way of looking at marriages. And I started with a simple, why do people get married? You got married to be happy. You got married to be happier. You got married to be happier every single day of your life. And you felt rightly so that you could do so within your marriage, that you married the right one. It's all right. It's all correct. What happened? There was just two of you. How come two of you couldn't keep it going? You didn't have good communication, obviously. You didn't really have the connection, obviously. Let's fix that now. Look, your marriage could be in one of two places. It could be sort of wobbling, which is why you're writing in. In that case, either of my books will be fine, or you could write to one of our counselors at the Marriage Foundation. It's a free service. And the books are good. Lessons for Happy Marriage and Breaking the Cycle. They're real templates for real marriage. It's not trendy, you know, love talk and men are from New York and all that stuff. It's not like that. It really lays things out simply, succinctly. And if your marriage is already starting to take a nosedive and it's heading towards divorce, don't get the books. Instead, get one of the courses. And the courses embody what I used to go to uh, Second Saturday uh, support group for women who are getting a divorce. And I would convert women and they would come see me. And this is all that I used to help them. And it transforms your life. But remember this, you got married to be happy. You have free will. I only use the deepest spiritual principles to back up what I do. You have free will. You are a soul. A soul is infinitely happy. How come you're not? Especially when you're with your soulmate. I put it all together and you can too. I'll show you how. This is very important. This is your marriage. You're so totally invested. Don't give up and don't go looking for the therapist. This is not, you're not crazy. You don't need a therapist. You just need to learn how to do this. All right. Thanks for spending time with me. <laughs> I care about you. If you want to leave a comment, please do so. If you like the video, like it, share it, let people know about the Marriage Foundation. We're special. We really are different. We're very special. And other than that, blessings to you, blessings to your husband, and blessings to your family, and we're going to help you, okay?